Have you ever wondered what games you should keep or you should lose? Find out here at Purdue. Mania is a party game put up by CGE. Now they put out one of the most popular party games of all time, Code Names, and now they're here with Pictomania. This is a drawing game. There's a lot of these drawing games are out. What's interesting about this one is everybody's drawing at the same time. Being the drawler is like the fun part of the game, I think, more than guessing for most people. So this one's fun that you get to draw and guess on every turn. So once you start, once you stop drawing, then you can start guessing what other people do, and you do that by placing a card face down in like their pile. The closer to the bottom you are, the quicker you were to guess, the more points it's going to be worth. So you wanna be able to draw your picture with something that people can guess correctly, but you also wanna be done quickly so you can go out and start guessing on other people and maximize your points. And that's kind of the rub of the game. And it works in that aspect. So rather than like I'm drawing and you're guessing, then you draw and I guess, we're all having fun at the same time. We're all doing the fun bits at the same time. And that's what makes Pictomania very brilliant. Otherwise, it's a pretty, pretty, pretty uh, standard drawing game. But this little tweak to the service is what you're here for. And for that, I'd put it above any other drawing game in my respects that I've played and had fun with. Pictomini will be number one. Keeper for us. Here's Pictomania, the new version. Uh, this will be a little dinosaur on the front, which really has nothing to do with the game. Get a rule book, which we'll look at in a few minutes. So we're going to get inside. You're going to get this little holder, which is kind of cool. Uh, what it's going to be able to do is when you put your cards, everybody will be able to see the cards easily. So you can just kind of put the cards up like this, and then everybody at the table can see it. The cards are pretty good. At the bottom, I'll tell you what level it is, and it just has words on. There's no art words, and they're double-sided, etc. So those are a uh, pretty nice touch there. You're going to get your scoring chits, which are pretty nice cardboard, but nothing you know, to write home about. These will be the cards that will be used for you guessing. A little bit smaller. The quality is okay. You're going to get a pencil sharpener, which is a nice little addition, and six colored pencils, so you have different colors, and you're going to be able to write in those colors. And then you're going to get some sheets in here that will be used. You know, it's just paper. It's going to be a ton of paper that you're going to have. But you're going to use both sides of this, and then you'll you'll kind of score it over to get the scoring side of it, etc. Um, when you're done with it. So, eh, pretty nice. Not too bad. About what you expect from a party game. So here's the real book. You see a picture of the components on the front. Now, I really like this. This is the entire game and how to play it, except for the scoring, which is really nice. This is all you need to really show people, and you kind of go through that. Then it'll give you a little bit of setup, and then it'll go through. Now, this book is really long for what it is, but it does have plenty of pictures and kind of shows you. Really, the scoring is what's so wonky about this as you go through, but you probably just need a couple minutes to read through this. Maybe 10 minutes to go through the whole book, but you can be up and playing which is this, if you don't worry about scoring too much and then kind of score as you go. The scoring is a little bit intuitive, I suppose. So there's gonna be three cards set up here. I'm gonna put them like this, just so you can easily see it, and they'll be A, B, and C. Then everybody will get a random card. Let's say yours is uh, A3, and that means what this will be secret to you, your A3. And so you'll be going down here on the A card, you'll be tomato. So what you'll be trying to draw on here is a tomato. And you know, you'll try, everybody's gonna be drawing at the same time because everybody's gonna have a different letter number combination. So they'll be doing something different. When you're done drawing, uh, then you can kind of guess and you'll, be, you'll have these cards here in your color and you can kind of guess who the other people are. So Fred's over here and you think he's two, you want to put that down. If you think Sarah over here is five, you'll put uh, the five down on her pile over here. You cannot start guessing on people until you are done drawing. Then you're going to score points. You're going to have these little chits that will give you stars, etc. And you're going to get points based on uh, if you were correct and how soon you were correct. So if you were the first one to take it, then you're going to get the three-point bonus from them. So the timing of when you vote is going to be very important. Then you're going to have uh, your own chit colors here that will signify whether somebody chose you or not. So you want people to be able to guess yours and get rid of all your scores. So what's going to happen is any of these that you have left over are going to become negative points. And you're going to get the positive points from guessing other people. And then that will be your score for the round. After four rounds, you add up your total score. Whoever has the most points is the winner. So where this does it a little bit differently, it's going to let everybody be the drawler at all times. And you will draw at the same time. And then you'll be guessing with these cards face down what the other people are. That's how you play Pictomania. Who should buy this?
this game? Anybody looking for a drawing game? This is the drawing game. The fact that you can all draw and all guess on every turn is an absolute winner. Second thing, um, if you're looking for a party game, this is really fun. People are going to like it. You don't need to be a good drawler. Matter of fact, most of us are not going to be or have the time to actually draw anything in this game because you need to be guessing, and that's where the tension of the game is going to come in. If you're for a drawing party game, by far, this is my number one. Pictomania is the one I would recommend. If you don't like those things, this is, this is not for you. For us, we'll keep it around, have a party game for the kids, and have a few laughs with it.